we're going to learn how to mock static methods. So Mockito out of the box can't actually mock static methods. Now we have to use something called Power Mockito, which can mock static methods. So we're going to have to add that into our Gradle. And these are the dependencies, but don't worry, they are right here. You can just copy and paste them. I will um, provide this link and also the dependencies in the description. And now let's see what we're going to do first. So I have a, a class called Easy Server that has a method send to server, which has a class called send to server. Just run the server, and that sends to server. Let's send to servers. Uh, so we have a boolean, and it's and, um, all I have to know it is it's pretty much it's default false. So it's it's successful, it's false. So it's it's false every time, and we want that to return true. So first we have server and server. So um, mock, and uh, we have to turn on power my keto here. So we have to run with power my keto runner that class. And now we want the the um, we want the prepare for test. I always forget um, uh, the word for this. So um, let's put the prepare for test for the e the server. There we are. Now let's get everything up. So we unlock the easy server. This makes everything easy, you know. <laughs> it's the easy word. But um, now we want to mock the um, the static method, so we need power mockito for that. We're gonna mock static, and we're just gonna put in our class here. And now we're not gonna return that to anything, to any variable, specifically because that's mocking the static methods in the server class. So whenever you actually use the server class. So what we're going to do is we're going to do paramakira when we're going to do just send you know, server. I forgot I changed it. Dot uh, send server. And we're going to do then return true. You saw it was um, by default was false. So we're going to get the pulling of that result equals server dot send to server. Easy server. And now we're going to get the assert. Assert equals. And we're going to get the true result. Now first we're we're just gonna comment that out and see what we get without doing anything, without changing anything. So we're gonna get the actuals false. To be expected. Now, just put send a server equals true, and we're gonna get a very big different uh, result. You know, see it passes now. Now this is true. So we just mocked actually a static method, and now um, you may be thinking what this prepare for test is. You know, if you get rid of that, the um, mocking the stack methods actually won't work. You have, to, you have to prepare the class for Makito. I always forget to do this. I actually had to look it up during the, um, while I was doing this, I paused it for a second. But um, yeah, we can, so with Para Makito, we can actually mock a static class and then use it in return, true, false, um, any, anything pretty much with the regular mocking and that makes a lot, a lot of things easier for example you can mock things like the camera class 
from Android, which is uh, has like open camera, open, a lot of um, just static things in there, and you can just play around with it, and it makes things a lot easier. And that's it. Now you know how to mock static methods.